how many saplings I have planted. You see, people in my neighborhood hold a kind of planting activity every month where every person has to plant at least one tree. Isn't it great? Now, you might ask, why do we do this? Well, let me ask you a question instead. What do you think is the most important process for our survival? <sighs> Breathing, of course! Breathing and taking in oxygen is a necessity of life. Our body needs oxygen to survive and function. And this oxygen is provided by these plants and trees. They keep the air clean and provide cool shade to relax during the summer. They are the home to many birds and animals. They even protect the soil and keep it fertile. Their roots hold on to the soil and prevent it from getting washed off. Not only this, parts of many plants and trees are used to make life-saving medicines. And most importantly, they are the main source of food for most of the beings on this planet. <sighs> There are so many uses of plants and trees that it's difficult to list all of them down. These trees and plants are one of the reasons that life exists. And that is why we need to plant more and more trees. You know, planting trees is a super easy job. Well, you can do it in two ways. You can get small plants like these from a nursery or you can sow seeds of the plant you want to grow directly into the soil. Planting saplings or sowing seeds is not enough. Hmm. You can think of them as small babies. Just like babies are treated with love and care, in the same way, we must take good care of the sown seeds or small plants. When we sow seeds to grow a plant, we must regularly water them. And ensure that they are getting proper sunlight. We must also check if the soil is suitable for those seeds. And if all the conditions are met, the seed starts to grow. Tiny stems and roots start to pop out of the seed and form a seedling. This seedling then grows into a small plant with a strong stem, fully grown leaves and roots that grow down and get water and nutrients from the soil. As the plant grows, it produces beautiful flowers. Then, the flowers develop into fruits. And that is when we know that our baby plant has finally grown into a mature tree. The full grown tree then continues to grow and provides us with fruits and seeds for us to grow more of these trees. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.